Assalamualaikum viewers. Welcome to Nisha's World. Today I will discuss from this test book and this test book for standard form. So dear students, uh, if you want to join with me, just bring your textbook and then you should open chapter 6 because um, we today we will discuss from chapter 6 and our that chapter title is Interaction to MS PowerPoint 2007. So today we will discuss different different options and why we will use this uh, program uh, we will discuss about this okay. Basically you know that it is our um, presentation program whenever we want to give any presentation we can use PowerPoint program okay so on my screen there is a logo of PowerPoint program so uh, we will also discuss how we can uh, make our presentation uh, then how we can use that presentation from uh, this chapter okay so you know that whenever we will install our MS office we will get this program after installing our uh, Windows operating system then for different different works we have to also install MS office and in MS office package we can get MS PowerPoint program along with other program okay so if you want to present any uh, text along with pictures sounds video clips then we have to use MS PowerPoint program so basically we can remember that to present any text uh, in front of our audience or viewers we can use MS PowerPoint program okay so uh, at first I uh, want to show you uh, that how we can start our MS or MS PowerPoint program then how we can use this program okay but uh, each and every time you can remember that uh, to present or whenever you want to present anything in front of your audience uh, your presentation should be interesting and uh, if you uh, present any information uh, only using text then definitely audience will not uh, listen to you so you have to present your information using some uh, sounds effect and you can also show pictures and you can also use video clips so that uh, audience will listen to you very uh, carefully and they will allow to hear you okay so if you want to uh, sometimes i can uh, give you one example uh, each and every year you have to uh, present your science fair project uh, so uh, when you will present your science fair project you can use this program so you can prepare your presentation using powerpoint program so that's why it is very uh, important program for you also and as a teacher uh, whenever i and other teachers they took their classes they also use ms powerpoint program uh, because you know that our all multimedia classes uh, should actually run with this program so that's why it is very important to learn how we can use our ms powerpoint program okay so i hope you will enjoy my class enjoy my video so if you are new in my channel subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that whenever i will have published any other video clips on your subject ict subject it will immediately get it okay so be with me so my dear students our today's topic is microsoft powerpoint so you are seeing an icon on the screen it is the logo of ms powerpoint and this is uh, uh, as our in our textbook it is uh, from 2007 edition that's why i also collected a picture from internet uh, so that you can also easily get which in which package you can get this program okay so in ms uh, office package you can get this ms powerpoint program 2007 and this is the screen picture actually i will discuss um, uh, elaborately before that i want to show you that picture this type of screen you can get after opening your ms powerpoint program then 
I want to uh, discuss few other uh, information relates to MS PowerPoint program. It is already I told you that it is actually a presentation program and this program created by Robert Gaskins and Dennis Austin. So uh, it is very important information. You can note it down. Then uh, the software company named uh, Forthought Incorporation, it at first uh, published this program and it was released on 20th April 1987. So you can also note it down these informations you can also get from internet I have collected from internet so it is uh, very important information for us. So uh, at first if you want to open your MS PowerPoint program then you have to click on start button. To open your MS PowerPoint program you have to click on your bottom left corner where you can get a start button just you will click on a start button then you can get you, you have to click on uh, all programs if you have your windows 7 then then you will click on all programs and from all programs you will get microsoft office package and inside that microsoft office package you will get ms powerpoint program okay just click on ms powerpoint program after opening this uh, ms powerpoint program you at first you will get this screen okay so let us discuss what are the uh, tabs and other options that are available on this screen after opening our powerpoint program we will get uh, one automatic uh, slide and it is actually a white slide okay so at first I want to discuss that uh, this is the title bar on the top bar is the title bar where this button okay and from office button you can get new presentation and other options are also available and uh, here is another important thing that is uh, in a PowerPoint program each and every page are known as slide so uh, the current page this is showing on our screen it is the slide okay each and every page is known as slide on MS PowerPoint program now I want to show you how you can create new presentation on your PowerPoint program. To create new presentation, we have to click on our uh, office button here. Already we have got one uh, slide. Then we will click on new options. Then we will get a new presentation that is blank presentation. And uh, you can also, you can also click on it that is if you want to use blank presentation then create new presentation we will click on office button this is the office button and and we will click on new option okay so from new option you will select blank presentation then you will click on create on the on this uh, bottom corner you will click you will get two option create and cancel so just for creating new option you will click on create option then it will be created okay so actually when we open our ms powerpoint program automatically we can get this blank presentation and on that blank presentation uh, it is actually called title slide okay the slide layout that at first we it is displayed on our ms powerpoint program so that is called what that is called title slide okay and it has uh, two boxes number one first box it is title for writing down your title and there is another box it is called um, subtitle box okay so we can write our title uh, title for our presentation and we can also write our subtitle okay for example suppose we want to present about our country so if we can write our title name as country our country that means we will write other options about our country those options we will discuss from the along with this presentation so we will write name then uh, the cities of our country then we will discuss about flowers of our country then we will discuss about fishes of our country so etc etc options you can add here okay so uh, at first we have to give our one title and then we can also use subtitle 
Now I want to show you how you can add new slide in your presentation. For adding new slide, you have to click and click on home tab. There are few tabs are available like home tab, insert tab, design tab, animation tab, slide show, review, view and format tab. Okay. So from home tab, you can get uh, slides group and that is new slide. This is the slides group. It is also named slides and beside that you can get font. So for taking new slide, just you will click on new slide option. Okay. So there is one important uh, information for you that if you click on down arrow on new slide, then you will get different different layouts of template. Okay. So title slide already we have one. Then it actually depends on your presentation. Uh, which type of template do you need for your presentation? So there are different different office themes are available. Then you can select any one. Like at first, I have selected uh, one uh, that is title and contents. Like here we have got one title box, and there are six options. Easily we can use a different different options. Like we can insert table, we can insert chart, we can insert smart art graphics we can insert picture so if you want to insert any picture from your computer then you can easily use these options okay so this way we can uh, we can add different different options different different charts or pictures uh, use in our presentation okay so this way we can um, insert new slide in our presentation from home tab and then we can also select our template that means what type of slide do you need actually you have to select this then you can uh, select one okay so this way we can add new slide in our presentation now how we can add text to our slide just you can type your any text on the ad title and then you can write your text for example you can write my hobbies here okay if you think that you will create your a presentation on your hobbies then you can also type this text from your keyboard and you can get uh, this as your title okay so this way we can add text to our slide as title or uh, subtitle also now we can also insert picture and we can change the size of your, our picture okay just outside of the picture border you can get these uh, these points and you can use these points for enlarging or reducing your size of your picture okay it depends on your choice so how you can uh, how you will set your picture on your slide so this way we can use our um, picture in our slide next how we can insert clip art okay clip art means uh, there are few ready made pictures are available you can also use uh, your uh, computer to store the photographs also so for inserting clip art at first you have to click you have to click on insert tab okay beside the home tab you can get insert insert tab so from insert tab you can get clip art options okay there are two other uh, types or formats of pictures and clippers we can use in our slide so I'll, already i told you that clippers are the actually uh, ready-made pictures those are uh, stored in our um, ms powerpoint program so uh, there are two options picture options if you click on picture option you can uh, select your photograph from uh, your computer and if you want to insert clip art those clip arts are available on your uh, powerpoint program then you can also use it okay so There are few clips are available. I hope you can see from the right corner of the screen. There are the clip arts. So any clip arts you can use here in your slide. Okay. Like this. And uh, if you want to remove this, just simply select your uh, boxes and you can 
press on delete and it will be deleted okay unnecessarily if you uh, select it or if you get this type of boxes on your um, slide then easily you can delete it also so this way we can also insert clip art in our powerpoint slide okay then we can also uh, insert other pictures from our computer like this and you can set up the changes of your picture i can as previously i can show you that this way you can change the size of our shapes of your pictures easily now our next option is how you can save your work for saving our work at first we have to click on office button this this corner the top prior, left top corner uh, you can get office button then you can click on save as option okay then you have to select your directory or folder where you want to save your presentation okay then you have to write type your name the presentation name or you can also take the automatic uh, name already um, already powerpoint presentation shows that there is a name that is our country okay so just simply you can click on save option then it will be automatically saved in your uh, my documents but if you want to select your directory in that case you can select your file or folders and then you can you can also create a new folder and then you can type your folder name and then you can save it here okay inside this folder standard for then you can save your file simply so this way we can save your save our powerpoint presentation so now i want to discuss that i want to show that how we can close our presentation we know that from the title bar uh, where we can get a close button we can easily close that button by close our powerpoint presentation by clicking on close button so you can also click on uh, this is one method or one way just simply click on close button and your presentation will be closed there is another option you can click on office button and then you can also get a close option here so it is your wish but i this is the easiest way i can suggest you that simply click on close button then your presentation will be closed now check it out whether your powerpoint presentation has, has saved or not in your a directory so i have saved it in uh, 2020 folder and it is yes this is our presentation so my dear students i hope you have understood these options those options today i have discussed so next class next time in my next video i will discuss other options from our textbook i hope you will um, you will be with me and if you are new in my channel subscribe my channel and press the bell button so that whenever i will publish my next video clip on your class then you will get my videos so if you have any confusion if you want to know any other options just write the comment in my videos so that i will understand that on which options i have to discuss okay but now i am just using your textbook so i hope you have understood these options today i have discussed from uh, 60 pages to uh, from six sorry from 58 to 62 pages i have discussed so next class i will show you other options from uh, 63 number pages okay so until then be safe stay at your home and be with me thank you